I'd want that boy taken apart. J.J., why do something that's going to drive them right back into each other's arms? I know how to handle Susie. You just... You just handle the boy. Preferably tonight. What's tomorrow, a holiday? Your fat cop friend. I think I'm going home. Maybe I left my sense of humor in my other suit. You've got a God-given brain, Sidney. Use it. You think this is a personal thing with me? Are you telling me I think of this in terms of personal peak? Don't you see that today that boy wiped his feet on the choice and the predilections of 60 million men and women in the greatest country in the world? If you had any morals yourself, you'd understand the immorality of that boy's stand today. It wasn't me he criticized. It was my readers. Remove the gangplank, Sidney. You may want to get back on board. JJ, it's one thing to wear your dog collar. When it turns into a noose, I'd rather have my freedom. The man in jail is always for freedom. Except if you'll excuse me, JJ, I'm not in jail. You're in jail, Sidney. You're a prisoner of your own fears, your own greed and ambition. You're in jail. You're blind, Mr. Magoo. This is the crossroads for me. I won't get Kello. Not for a lifetime past to the polar ground. Not if you serve me Cleopatra on a plate. Sidney, I told you. J.J., I swear to you on my mother's life I wouldn't do that. Not if you gave me a column would I do a thing. And who do you suppose writes the column while Susie and I are away for three months? The man on the moon? Thank you, Sidney. And Sydney, I'll have that piece of paper back. Thank you.